I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Of course, this is the third time I'm trying to do this. So good afternoon and evening or just good evening, everyone. This is Tessa Spade today. It is indeed. It is Tuesday. Even if it's Tuesday evening because I screwed up. Yeah, it's Tuesday, September 17th, 2024, day 261. Whee! Yes, this is the third time I've tried to do this because I keep screwing up with my audio settings. Ah, yeah, you got a long one, you mess those up, right? Anyway, I am late to this for, um, I'm, I'm also still late to this beyond just the fact that I've had to record this three times now. But, um, the reason why I was even later doing it is because around the time I normally do the daily recordings to say, Hey guys, we're sober. And that still hasn't changed. We're still sober. Um, around the time I was going to record, Lily had to go to the store and get milk. So Buttercup went along with her. Yes, they're back. They did get the milk. They don't do what your stereotypical dad does. They, um, they, they did indeed go get milk. They did come back. But they, they went around the time I normally do the recordings. And they got back a little bit late because they went to another store at the same time. But... As Lilia was going to the store, that cat, or you know, the neighbor's cat got into our house again. And it took me a while to get the cat that out. Because as I was trying to get the cat out, he would stick his paw, he would stick his paw through the front door, or the screen front door, the, the front door screen. There we go. Phone tied again. Well, he would stick his paw through the front door screen. To prevent me from closing the door. So, and by the time I finally got the door closed. Ah, uh, that's around the time Lily and Buttercup finally got back home. And as they got home, the cat immediately darted back into the house. The rule is we can't have the cat in here very long. And I don't want the cat inside to be really to begin with because, to, especially today, my allergies, or I had had allergies, and they're going crazy right now. That's why I'm not in VR chat, because if I if I were to be in VR chat right now, I would just be constantly taking my ah robot went lying. But I I I'd just be constantly rubbing my eyes, so I'd have to take the headset off constantly. My eyes itch. They burn. I'm uncomfortable. The itchiness is just getting everywhere because that cat dander is extra bad today. So I am not. I am not going to bother. I, I just go. I, I'm not going myself right now in terms of that dander. It's 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 awful. And I, I, I don't want the cat in the house that often because my allergies are just going to continue getting worse. But yes. And, um, another reason, of course, well, beyond just alcohol, allergies are a huge reason why I'm not in VR chat. But another reason is, of course, knowing that it's September 17th, we are officially two. But, oh, I want to say two woo. I, 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 I'm tempted to just say two woo, but that's only for two woo days. But we are two. Wait, we're not two. We are three days. Well, two and a half. Okay, three days. From the release of the Shatter Space DLC. Which I am absolutely excited for. I've been waiting to see what would happen. And the fact that we get to finally learn so much more about... Um... The Varun. I, I'm just excited to learn more about them. And not the Varun Zealots. The zealots are creepy. But, um... And I'm, I'm excited for it. So what I did with my uh, place room is I, I, I was going really, really far. But after I added a few extra mods in for, um, on, I decided it was important. It was time for me to go back through the unity because my last playthrough or my, or my last major really long run in the game was with the hunter having, you know, shown up at Constellation's Lodge. And gave me all the artifacts, so there, so there were none of Constellation there. So I was like, you know what? If I, it, it's been three days, we're going to go to a whole new... We're, we're gonna go to the Varun whole world. 
I, I can't even remember the name of it off the top of my head right now. But if Rosalind like did the Rune Homeworld in three days, it would probably be a good idea to keep any level of semblance of the, you know, starter, uh, the, 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 the starter plot line instead of the new game plus stuff. So obviously I'm, I'm, I'm keeping the new game plus. I, I, I'm, I can't even tell a sunk cost fallacy. I'm enjoying myself, so there's no sunk cost fallacy here. But when we had a lot of investment with this playthrough, so if I just go through the Unity again and make sure that it's, you know, your standard playthrough and then act like a act like I'm new to Constellation and try to redo the, the original uh, storyline, then that'll work. And doing that means I can... Well, I'm in the big. I'm pretty much in the beginning stages of having joined Constellation. I finished up the uh, the um, the old neighborhood, which is you know where Sarah more where Sarah's testing you to see whether or not you know you'll be a good fit for Constellation. Well, you end up being so regardless anyway, because you can't be like, oh, you can't anyway. Bye. That's the end of the game. That's not how it works. So join Constellation, but before I finished it, any of the next ones, because this. It, this, this is the next stage. What I had to do before that is I had to quickly go in and, um, I'm kind of brain farting right now. I needed to go in and, um, not accidentally turn the robot on before it's saying protect me. I, I, I had to do the first main mission of the Vanguard quest line because I wanted to make sure uh, after, you know, defeating the Terramorph, turning it into, um... The, the, the Vanguard Commander, really. Um, turning that mission in after uh, taking out that Terramorph. I did that because I really wanted to make sure I got my, uh... The Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projector Cannons. Or... Your spaceship, I wanted to make sure I had those available and put them on my ship because they're the best laser cannons you can put on there since you can you can use six of them. So I have six auto uh, obliterator auto projectors on my on my ship right now. I, I I just can't go without those, you know. Besides so that and, and and now we're here at the science lab. I was hoping it would not be my phone going off so on. But I, I, I did that, and um, unfortunately the area I went to first, Andresha is not here. So Andresha will come up in the next area, most obviously, because that's the first uh, major set after the, the old neighborhood uh, quest. You know what I mean. But anyway, I, I'm, I, I don't have very long. In fact, I need to keep you speaking short. You can watch the rest of this these missions. It'll go just fine. But I need to get going because I have to make dinner. At the time of recording, it, you know, or the time of recording, it's it's six fifty two p.m. So I am I am very late, and I'm sorry for that. So I want everyone to just in, in, enjoy the game, enjoy the rest of your two Wednesday, day two hundred sixty two, September seventeenth. And this is, again, this is Tessa Spade. I will see everyone tomorrow on home day. Take care of yourselves, everyone. And we will see you all tomorrow.
I'm pleased to see this isn't a dead end. What have we got? Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Captain. Mm -hmm. 